Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we've got an NFL card. Yes, I know it's 2 a.m., and I'm recording this really late, but I want to get this out for Sunday morning. So let's get started with our first game of the evening. We have the Philadelphia Eagles at the Cleveland Browns. Two and a half point spread, minus 140, run back of plus 120, over under of 47. That's gone down from the 47 and a half I saw that earlier. Philly coming in 3 5 and 1. Cleveland 6 and 3. Uh, my first initial lean is Cleveland minus 2.5. And, and then when I looked at trends, they are 4. Uh, Cleveland is 4 and 1 in their last five home games versus losing te- uh, teams with losing records. While Philly, on the other hand, after a straight-up loss, are 1-6 against the spread, and they lost last week 27-17 to the Giants, and then they are 2-5 against the spread against winning teams this year, or winning their last seven against winning teams. So, my pick is the Cleveland Browns, and that is going to be an official bet for me tomorrow. The Browns at minus 2.5. So my first official bet of this video is the Browns at two minus two and a half. Uh, I have no play on the spread. Next, we have the Atlanta Falcons taking on Taysom Hill and the New Orleans Saints. Yes, the Saints are making noise here this uh, this week with their shift in quarterbacks. Not choosing uh, Jameis Winston after Drew Brees got hurt. Choosing Taysom Hill instead. So, let's get into it. The Falcons come in 3-6. and six. The New Orleans Saints at 7-2. and two. And honestly, I can see the Falcons giving the Saints trouble. Uh, overall, this, will probably be, this game will be a pass on these sides for me. Because, also, I looked at trends with this as well. Atlanta is 7 and 1 against the spread in their last 8 road games. 5 and 1 as an underdog and 4 and 1 after a straight up win. On the other hand, the Saints are 6 and 1 versus teams with a losing record and 4 and 1 against the spread against the NFC South. As for sides, I don't lean either, but for totals, uh these Falcons are 6-1 to the over after allowing 350-plus yards the week before. The Saints are 7-1 to the over as a favorite and 5-1 and on a field turf, which is what they're playing on in, um, in New Orleans. So my next official bet for this video will be the Falcons and the Saints going over. 49 points. So two official bets to start the video. I'm not going to have those on. I'm not going to have official bets on every game, but I'm going to try to pick a side or a total for where I'm leaning at the very least. Next, we got the 2-7 and seven Texans hosting the 4-5 and five New England Patriots. Patriots coming off a win against uh, the Baltimore Ravens in that really crappy rainy game. Uh, but their defense played well. They limited Lamar Jackson, and they played really well there. So looking at, once again, um, I'm going to look at trends here. I'm going to be basing, I'm going to be referencing a lot of trends during this video. Uh, the Patriots are 5-1 and one against, uh, against the spread on the road versus losing record teams. But this year they've struggled against the spread. One and one six and one following a straight up win, and o oh, five and one following up in against the spread win. Uh, on the other hand, Houston. This is probably a game I'm just going to stay away from completely, or just do a dog or pass. Uh, one and seven against the spread as an underdog. One and five against the spread following a straight up loss, and one and five against the spread as an home underdog. So this game is going to be a pass for me. Um, the only totals I'm looking at is maybe the over 
forty nine because last our New England is five and one to the over on the road in their last six games. But this game is a straight up pass for me. If anything, it's going to be uh, the money line for Houston, seeing that the uh, home team is nine two and one in their last eleven meetings. Next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the are hosting the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers, and I have one bet and one bet only for this game, and that is the under, and that is, I've already placed this bet, under 46. And I have one stat, the under 46, and I have one stat that's absolutely going to back this up, and that is the under is 24-5 and five in the last 29 games when Pittsburgh are road favorites. Um, if you're looking to bet against the spreads here, um, really, I would lean laying the points. Or, yeah, if I'm playing, I'm laying minus 10. Uh, Jacksonville just has not looked good this year. 46 points. If you're trying to keep it under, that's going to be tough to cover the 10 points. But Pittsburgh is 5-0 and won their last six games against the spread uh, while scoring 30 point, 30 plus weeks point. 30 plus points the week before, 6 and 1 against the spread in their last 7 games, 5 and 0 against the spread against the AFC this year, and 6 and 1 against the spread following uh a straight up win their last 7 opportunities there. So it's a official play official play for the under a lean towards Pittsburgh minus 10. No bet on the side there though. Next, we've got the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Washington football team. Minus one, plus one, uh, one point spread. Uh, minus 127 for the football team, plus 107 run back for the Bengals. Um, and I'm leading Bengals here. I'm going to lean the money line. I'm, I don't bet plus one and plus twos. If I'm going to pl- uh, play a plus one or plus two, even up to plus two and a half, I'm going to play the money line because I be- I don't remember the stat, but they cover uh, underdogs that are two and a half or lower that win or that cover the spread win like 85% of the time. So I'm taking Cincinnati on the money line. Uh, they are 4-0 against the spread following uh, allowing more than 30 points. They're 6-0 against the spread following a straight-up loss and 4-0 against the spread against losing teams. While the Washington football team this year, as a favorite, are 0-4 against the spread and they're 0-4 in their last four games as a home favorite against the spread as well. Um, As for totals, I'll be looking to play the over. Uh, And I will... I'm not going to make that an official bet, but I'm leaning towards it. 3-0-1 uh, last four games over under for Cincinnati. 5-0 and following an uh, ATS loss. And 7-1 and following a straight-up loss. Um, and for Washington, 5-0 and in their last five games. And 5-1 and in their last six games following an at- against the spread loss. And I'm actually going to make that an official bet um, as well. Well, so, yeah, my official bets for here are Cincinnati plus 107 and the over 47 points. Next, we have the Tennessee Titans taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Six point spread, minus 275, run back of plus 230, over under 50 points. And uh, looking at this, uh, Tennessee is 0-4 against the spread in their last four games. Um, Baltimore is 1-5 against the spread as a favorite, 1-7 against the spread after a straight-up loss. And they're 0-4 against the spread at home versus a team with a winning record. Uh, This is going to be probably a straight-up pass for me this game, Uh, just to sit back and watch type game. Um, and then with the totals, the trends are going against each other. Uh, Tennessee, they're 
5 0 1 1 to the over versus the AFC, 8 and 1 to the over after a against a spread loss, and they are 5 and 1 to the over following a straight up loss as well. What meanwhile, um Baltimore is 7 and 1 to the under on on field turf and they're 7 1 to the under against the AFC this year. So overall this game is going to be a complete pass for me. Um I'm just going to sit back and see what these teams do and judge accordingly. Next we have the Miami Dolphins taking on the Denver Broncos minus three and a half spread or three and a half point spread minus 185 for the Dolphins plus 160 for the Broncos over under 45 and a half and uh for this game I am looking at the Dolphins minus three and a half uh they are four and oh following a uh following a ATS win this year uh and four and oh following up a straight up win uh they are five and oh on grass turf 4-0 against the uh, against the spread versus the AFC. 5-1-1 one one as a favorite and 5-1 and one facing a team with a losing record, which they are playing the Broncos. So Miami minus 3.5 is an official bet for me. Um, for this game, I'm just going to ride the streak with Tua Tangavailoa and go from there. Next, we have the New York Jets taking on the L.A. Chargers. Nine and a half point spread, minus 450 for the Chargers, plus 360 run back for the Jets, over under 46 and a half. And both these teams are not fun to watch. They're not, or not fun to watch, not fun to bet on. Jets are one in five against the spread. Uh, uh, versus a team with a losing record this year, which is awful. On the other hand, the Chargers are 1-7-1 as a home favorite this year at, against the spread. So here's what I'm going to do for betting this game. And the trends go overs for Chargers, unders for the Jets. So it's going to be a no bet for me this game, unless one thing. If Sam Darnold plays, I will bet the Jets plus 9.5. If Joe Flacco plays, I am not betting this game at all. So this game is going to be a straight-up pass for me. Um, And that's, yeah, it's going to be a straight-up pass for me. Unless unless Sam Darnold is playing in this game. Next, we have the Green Bay Packers heading to Indianapolis to play the Colts. Um... And the Colts looked really good against uh, Tennessee in their last game. Uh, and I have a lot of, I have a good feeling about this game for the Colts coming up. Uh, they're 3 and 0, uh, 3-0 and 1 against the spread after allowing less than 150 yards passing, which they held Tannehill to, I think, under 100 yards or barely under 150 yards, which is crazy. Um, on the other hand, uh, the only trend I have here for Green Bay that really has anything is they're seven and one against the spread on a field turf in their last eight games. Uh, so this is basically going straight up off of how I, what I think, and I think that the Colts are going to take care of business, and that is going to be another official bet for me. Indianapolis minus one versus the Green Bay Packers. Um, That is an official bet for me. Uh, And we head to our last game of the night. And yes, it moved down to seven, which makes me really happy because I'm going to pick that up now. I was waiting for this to hit seven because it was at seven and a half a little while ago. Dallas Cowboys head to Minnesota, minus seven plus uh, seven point spread. Minus 325, run back of plus 270, over under 48 and a half. And my official bet for here is Minnesota, minus 7. Um, Dallas is 0-6 against the spread in road games this year. 1-8 overall, 0-7 versus the NFC. 1-5 after a straight up loss. Uh, For Minnesota, they're 6-1 against the spread in their last seven games. 
plain and simple. I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings as my last official bet of the video. So I got the Vikings minus seven. So here are here is my action uh, heading into tomorrow. I got the Browns at minus two and a half. I got the Falcons and the Saints going over 49. I have Jacksonville and Pittsburgh going under 46. I have Cincinnati at plus 107, along with the Bengals and the Washington football team going over 47 points. I got Miami at minus three and a half, Indianapolis at minus one, and the Minnesota Vikings at minus seven to wrap up my action. That is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below who you have uh, bets on for tomorrow. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.